it is Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits, and I know there is a lot of light in here today, but it's actually the camera that I'm using. I'm using my phone camera. Usually I use StreamYard, but I've noticed that it's not, it's really blurry at first. So I'm going to try this. So anyways, how is everybody today? How is everybody on this beautiful Monday? Tonight I have a live actually at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, yeah, gonna have a live tonight. <laughs> but today I have two finished baby blankets and two teethers, homemade like baby teethers. And here I'm just gonna have a sip of this. And one is made for my brand new grandbaby that will be here in November, a little girl named Ray, Ray Lynn. So, my, oh, jeez. <laughs> Actually, should I show the blankets first? Hmm. No, I'll show the teethers. And one is for my friend Angela from My Precious Journey. She wanted one because she said they look so cute. And, of course, she wanted hers in black. But I'll show you the one I made for my little Ray Lynn. And they were very easy. Isn't this so sweet? I just love it. I made sure everything was um, safetyed on. Everything was sewn on really well. Um, yeah, it moves, but it's, it's sewn on there very, very well. And this is all sewn on. The ears are sewn on very well. This is actually tied through and tied around at the back so that it is secure and not going to come off. And the safety eyes I got from Amazon. And the safety noses I got from Amazon. And they are actually like a velvet. Yep. And then I just use embroidery thread for the mouth. Did some face shaping there and I used cotton. This was, um, geez, what cotton was this? Bamboo Fair by Premier. Yep. So happy. And then I got the little um, bamboo rings from my local dollar store. And there we go. And I will leave. The pattern actually for this, I will leave the link down in the description. I'm just going to open up my little book here. I'll put this one down. And the design for that was by Tommy Sheep Crochet and Knitting. So I will leave the link for that down below. Now, the next one that I made is a little bit bigger. This one's for Angela because the yarn I, I used, the only black cotton I had was Lamia cotton in a three. But she is so adorable. There she is. Oh, she's got a mark on her because I was going to put pink cheeks on her, but I didn't. So it's just powder. It'll come off here soon. Just trying to get it off. It didn't look right, the color. So anyways, this is she adorable. I did sparkly pink eyes. Kind of hard to see there, but they are sparkle. Now... This is a little pink nose, the pink velvet, same as the other nose, but in pink. I got my noses from Amazon. I'll put the links for the um, items for the accessories I used, because I know these ones were from Timu. I just got a bunch from Timu. Isn't it cute? So I decided to do pink on the ears, pink for the bow, because she wanted pink and black. So there's her pink and black. <laughs> very very cute I love the face shaping it just it gives it such definition and I just love it so cute I think one ear is actually bigger than the other but that's why I bent it over <laughs> give it the illusion look how much bigger and smaller <laughs> just by using different yarn I use the same hook size same everything that way but yeah, so that was by Tommy Sheep, she, Tommy Sheep Crochet and Knitting. Okay, so next, I made this beautiful blanket. Oh, it's so pretty. 
you know, this is a fillet crochet. I guess this is what they call fillet crochet. And this is so relaxing to do. Now the yarn for this, <clears throat> the yarn for this was actually given to me. So it was just a light three in a baby yarn. I would say this one here, because this is different yarn than this. I matched them pretty well. They were two totally different yarns, not even the same make. Or I had one gifted to me from J Hook Crochet and the other one from uh, Angela at My Precious Yarnery. Now, I would say this one's more like a puzzle baby from Ice. And the other one was just a baby yarn that matched. So, yeah. And this one was a tutorial by Daisy Cottage Designs. Yeah. I will probably make a few more of these because they're so relaxing to make and so quick to make up. So there's that. And I just did like a, I think I just did a double crochet border around it. Just an easy peasy border, you know, just to clean it up around the edges. So there's that one. Now this last one, I'm actually going to be making another accessory for. Um, oh God, my chair always <laughs> got like this much of me. My chair, it, it always goes down. It's broken. <laughs> Let's just say that it's broke. Okay. So this next blanket, I had ordered this yarn from Amazon. It was in a three pack for $19.99, which is pretty good for up here in Canada. So I use Super Saver Stripes in the color Retro Stripe, which is this color. This is what I had left out of the three balls. <clears throat> and so only two and a half or two and a little bit made this big blanket i was really surprised so was angela and i showed her made this size baby blanket which i think is pretty good and i don't know exactly what size i don't measure them so when i say this size i mean this <laughs> here you go this size <laughs> which is big enough for for you know first year I would say, but I just love it. And so I just went around with a, a, what do you call that? Cluster stitch, I'm pretty sure. I went around the cluster stitch and I didn't color coordinate. Well, I did actually. This pattern is my own. I didn't follow one. I just used a stitch that is familiar to everybody, I guess. So what I did with this blanket was I chained multiples of two can't remember exactly how many I chained but multiples of two and then I did one row and then one back and then went to the next color do you see like I did one full row this way and then back and then I would change color and go, but I never cut my yarn. I just carried it up the side. And the stitch I used, I'm gonna put all the information here so you can see what I did exactly, like um, how I worked the pattern. But yeah, I'm so happy with it. I love this stitch. It's such a beautiful stitch. I think I made two blankets now. All it is is the half double crochet in the first stitch like the full stitch is that what we do yeah uh half double crochet in the first stitch very first stitch skip a stitch uh single crochet half double crochet skip a stitch single crochet half double crochet skip a you just keep going like that that's the that's the stitch pattern all the way up till you're done in your blanket. But like I said, I'll put it there on the side so you can see it. Yeah, I'm so happy. I've been making so many blankets. Ugh, here goes my chair. <laughs> I've been making so many blankets, you guys. So that, I'm not gonna put the pattern 
where I seen the stitch because the, the pattern isn't what she did. I just did my own thing because I didn't have the yarn she had, so it didn't look the same. So yeah, I would say that's my own pattern then. <laughs> but I'm not writing it up. <laughs> but I will leave what I did here. And if you can get it from that, then if not, and if you need any help, just message me and I'll clarify whatever you didn't understand out of my my kind of little instructions that I gave there. But anyways, with the rest of this, I'm going to make a toy caterpillar to go with that little blanket. I think that'll be cute. Or maybe a butterfly. I don't know yet. But anyways, I am working on another blanket right now. It's going to be so cool. I'm loving the way the color changes are going and the colors that I chose. So I should be done that in the next couple days. But until then, we'll see ya. Bye guys.